In this video, we'll see how to evaluate a confidence interval for the difference of two proportions. The instructions for the TI-83 and 84 are identical. So we start with this example here. A remote control car company is considering a new manufacturer for wheel gears. The new manufacturer would be more expensive, but their higher quality gears are more reliable, resulting in happier customers and fewer warranty claims. However, management must be convinced that the more expensive gears are worth a conversion before they approve the switch. The quality control engineer collects a sample of gears, examining 1,000 gears from each company, and finds the 899 gears pass inspection from the current supplier and 958 pass inspection from the prospective supplier. Using these data, construct a 95% confidence interval for the difference in the proportion that pass inspection. So we can see we're going to be calculating a two-proportion Z interval. Before we grab the calculator, we want to show our work and carry out the needed steps, so we'll verify conditions. We have to assume that this constitutes uh, two independent random samples. And then we check our N1, P1 is greater than or equal to 10, N1, 1 minus P1 greater than or equal to 10, N2, P2, and N2, 1 minus P2 greater than or equal to 10. And those clearly pass. And now we construct our confidence interval. So we have our point estimate is P1 minus P2 plus or minus Z star, P1, 1 minus P1 over N1 plus P2, 1 minus P2 over N2. And of course, we don't have to memorize the formulas for the SE. We can always go to our formula sheet here and see we're using this structure here for the SE for the difference of sample proportions. So if you make your numbers match this formula here, that will help. OK, so now we're ready to grab the calculator. So Whenever we're carrying out an inference procedure, we're going to start with stat tests. And here, because we have proportions and we have two of them, we're going to go to 2 prop, oops, two prop z int for interval. So let's go to stat over to tests and down. Make sure we find 2 prop, 2 prop z int. There it is. 2 prop Z and hit enter. Okay, X1 has to be the number of yeses in sample 1. So that would be 899. N1, sample size for group 1. X2, the number of yeses in group 2. That's 958. Remember, these have to be integers. So if you're finding them from proportions and you don't get an integer, make sure you round X1 and X2 to the nearest integer. N2 is going to be 1,000 as well. Our confidence level is 0.95, so we can leave that and do calculate. And now we get our interval here. So negative 0.08 to negative 0.0366. Um, so what can we learn from this interval? We're 95% confidence that the true difference in the proportion that pass inspection lies in this interval. Because the whole interval is negative, which one do we have evidence is bigger? So we have to recall the order that we did the difference in. So we did current minus perspective. And because the whole interval is negative, the perspective one is bigger, we have evidence that the perspective supplier has a higher proportion that passed the inspection because the whole interval is negative, is below zero. That's it for this video. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up and subscribe below. Thanks for watching.